the big bad Krupp. Every time somebody sees it, they don't even really know how to put it to words, but that's where everything kind of gets started. It takes the big rocks, makes small rocks out of them at a high tons per hour. So it's the beast that starts it all. The Krupp is basically the, the heartbeat of our company because every ounce of rock that we use to make concrete, asphalt, base material comes through that machine. The family had the foresight to think about, you know, the next phase, the next stage of the Wilson Quarry. Um, and so they were planning out the modernization of the facility back in the early 80s. And as part of the modernization um, was to put in this mobile crusher. At night, we use two 992 size loaders that feed this crusher with three foot minus material. And then it goes into a gyratory crusher, takes that three foot down to about a 10 inch minus and sends that rock over to the secondary plant for processing. It'll take the rock basically the size of 36 inch and crush it down to minus 10 inch. Production wise, it does roughly around 3,000 tons an hour capacity. Take the material again and recrush it into the various sizes that we need for our construction aggregates. It's about 50 feet wide, 151 feet long, about a four story building, uh, weighs about 760 tons and um, pretty much is the first line out of a series of conveyors that takes our material from the face all the way into their secondary plant. It's the largest crusher on pneumatic tires, propelled on its own, what we call a crab walk, driving a diagonal orientation. The Krupp, having sensors that tell us oil pressures and temps and the ability to move it in a different way with GPS locations, it's been a long time in the works. Now, all the hydraulics on the machine were original from the mid 80s. And so they were just replaced maybe three, four years ago. Um, we had to do that first before we could do anything with the automation of the crop. With all the updates that they did, now instead of just traverse and transverse operation, a little bit of the diagonal, but now you have actual arcs that you can actually travel on, which is amazing, right? You're dealing with a four-story structure, right? Which it has the ability to kind of tear itself apart if you don't have everything done correctly. We couldn't produce the amount of material that we produce today without the crop. You would have to have probably 15 mobile crushers to be able to go in there and be the equivalent of what this one machine can do for us. Now, there's a lot of things at the core that looks starting from the from the Krupp to Big Bill, which is out in the back. I mean, it, it looks like something straight out of Star Wars. 